Um, first of all, thank you for inviting me to this uh, presentation, uh, to this conference, and I'm really happy to be here um, to talk about the importance of establishing an art database in Asia. So, uh, first of all, I want to uh, 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 I want to tell you there will be two parts in this presentation. The first part is about the importance of having this database, and the second part is how we can do it. So, uh, before we start, uh, let me ask you a question. So, when I mention the word art, what would you think about? Do you have any like idea about like thinking uh, art? Do you have any like idea about art? Anyone? Okay. So, would you think of Mona Lisa by uh, Da Vinci in this uh, 16th century? I think it's a really like typical artwork. Like when you talk about Mona Lisa, everyone knows about it, right? How about the Birth of Venus? Um, have you seen this picture before? Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's really famous, right? It's a big, it's a really famous uh, painting. How about sculpture? Would you think of it about art when I talk about art? How about this? And I'm thinking more like the contemporary art by Bali or by Picasso. So would you think of the Asian art? I mean, when I mentioned the word art at the very beginning, have you thought of the word Asian art here? Anyone? Okay. Have you thought of the Chinese paintings like this? Or Yukioe from Japan? Or the Chinese castle? Or the Batik from Indonesia? These are very famous in their own region. I mean, like these artworks are very famous in their own region. But I don't think uh, when I mention the word arts at the very beginning, you would think of oh, something like this, right? It's kind of like a uh, concept like uh, for us, like when I mention the arts, you would just think of the arts in like in the Western society and you would not think about like the arts in Asia. That's why we need to have an art database in Asia. The first thing is to promote the artwork in Asia to all over the world. Just like what happened now, like when I talk about arts and then you just think of like the paintings like uh, in Europe but not really the artwork in Asia. And having a database would help us to promote the artworks, the, the artworks uh, to all over the world. And the second one is to preserve the artwork in Asia. Why do we need to preserve the artwork in Asia? Because it's about, uh, I think it's very important because, like, uh, you know, some artworks they can't, look, they cannot last like forever. But if you have a picture to put it like uh, in database, then people can get a sense of those information they need. Like at any time, at um, any time they, uh, any time they want. And the second one, I mean, and the third one is to build up the open trust source for Asian cultural heritage complex. Um, I think now uh, people can still like get the information about art on the internet if they want to. But uh, if you talk about like if it is um, can it be trusted? I don't think uh, every source, uh, every source like on the internet you can trust actually. So like building, building a database that like people can trust is very important. And the fourth, uh, the fourth reason is to make the resources available to users wherever they are and when, uh, whenever they need. So uh, it's also important to have. Uh, it's uh, also important reason, like why we need to do, uh, why we need to, why we need to have the database. Um, it, it's just. Uh, um, it's important because like when people need the artwork, um, want a picture of the artwork, they don't need to go to the museum, but they can just go online and get the information and also the pictures they want. So uh, that's why I think we need to have a database like this in Asia. So um, I want to talk about like Europeana because I think it's a, it would be a really good uh, case study for us like to look at like how it works in Europe and can we do some and actually we can do something like this uh, in Asia. So European is an internet protocol that um, acts as an interface to millions of books, paintings, things, museum, artists and 
uh, that have been uh, digitalized throughout Europe. And actually, you can just go on the website and get the information you want. So uh, more than 2,000 institutions across Europe has contributed to European. So uh, these range from major international names like the Rijks Museum in Amsterdam, uh, the British Library and uh, Luz, the regional archives and local museums from every member of the European Union. So uh, if you really want to know about like, the collections in those museums, you can actually just go on your piano and then you can just look at the information you want. And it's really easy to, uh, it's very easy for you to use the website. So actually, um, your piano gives access to different types of contents from different types of heritage institutions. So um, the objects that uh, users can find in Europeana are not stored in a central computer, but remain with this cultural institution and a host on their networks. And it's very well organized. So uh, um, also there are different projects. It's not just about like uh, the paintings or like uh, the structures that I just showed you. Uh, there are numbers. Uh, there are a number of projects like the European group that are contributing technology, solutions, and contents to your Canada. So there are different projects they are doing uh, at this moment. Uh, for example, uh, there is a project about uh, fashion. Um, we'll bring more than 700,000 items of fashion-related contents into your Canada. And also they have a project about library, uh, which will add over 5 million digital objects to your Canada from mining of your leading research and university libraries. So actually you can see uh, uh, European is uh, people who try to uh, work together like to build up like a database like European. So I will show you some uh, demonstration how people use European. So uh, here is the uh, European, the website, and you can see they, uh, there is a searching engine here. And then you can see there are different collections here. So for example, if you really want to know something about like Da Vinci, so you can just type his name here. So you can uh, see there are different kind of resources on the website about Da Vinci, like the manuscript here. The paintings, so you can actually like get the information about the artist if you just type in name uh, uh, in searching engine. And also, there are different collections like uh, in uh, on European. For example, European music. So uh, here is the uh, collection. You can actually like just click in there, and then you can just uh, check all the information. For example, you can actually uh, listen to music uh, on your piano. And also, there are some introductions about uh, like the music here, like the creator, the contributor, and then uh, it's very easy to use. You can see like you can just like click those pages, like click the icons, and then you can actually listen to it. So I, yeah. So you can listen to it on your piano. And also there is an art history collection on your piano, uh, which you can like uh, search like uh, the art uh, history there. For example, you want to know about this artist. You can actually just click his name and then look at all the pictures, all the artworks he uh, created. It's very easy to use. So here is the question. Can we do something like this in Asia? And actually we can. But how we can how can we do something like this in Asia? So like from my um, experience, uh, I think we can do it on Wikipedia. So um, how many of you have not heard of Wikipedia before? Um, I think all of you have heard of it, right? Um, how many of you use it every day? 
like we hear. I know, like it's a really like um, it's a, because like Wikipedia is a free as as free contents in the encyclopedia, and it's really easy for people to get access, right? And uh, you can, you know, like everyone can actually edit on Wikipedia. Uh, I mean, like literally everyone can uh, edit on Wikipedia. So I think Wikipedia would be an ideal platform to build a database because like it, it's very easy to use. Like you can just share like the information on Wikipedia and also get the information from Wikipedia. So you know that like Wikipedia is widely used all over the world. It provides different kinds of information to the public. And you know like people like would like to search the information they want on Wikipedia frequently. Uh, so if you just go to Google or like the other like searching engine and type uh, type in the keywords that you want to search, like probably Wikipedia will pop up like in top ten, like in the in the top ten in the results. So I think Wikipedia would be uh, an ideal platform to do so. And actually there are like uh, different system projects of Wikipedia, uh, including Wikidata and uh, Wikimedia Commons. So uh, I know like it might be a new term, uh, it might be new terms for you, but I want to explain like how it works to you. So Wikidata is a free linked database that can be read and edited by both humans and machines. And it's a document-oriented database focused around item. So how it works actually? For example, if I want to know about like a particular uh, uh, artist, I can just type in his name here. Sorry. So you can just like uh, you can read all the information uh, about the artist here. Uh, I was searching in uh, Dali, so you can see like the name of him, like uh, the statement uh, about him. Why is it like uh, why I think it would be a, 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 a why I think it would be an ideal platform to do so? Because uh, you know like uh, it, uh, actually everyone can um, contribute to uh, Wikipedia and the system projects. And actually, it would ensure the fairness about like the information on Wikipedia because uh, sometimes when just one part, uh, only one party edits on uh, a particular object, it might be have some um, uh, they mix their opinion uh, into the uh, statement. But for this one, uh, it won't happen uh, here on Wikipedia because like everyone, when everyone edit on Wikipedia, you can get like the uh, neutral. Uh, statement, uh, combining all the statements uh, from the editor. And also, uh, I think it would be really useful and easy to use, like you can see all the information they are like, putting in this way, it would be easier for people to get the idea about the address. And also, we can do it with Wikimedia Commons. So it's, an, uh, it's a database like, uh, for the free use images, sound, and other media files. And it's the project of the Wikimedia Foundation. So how it works, actually. So for example, uh, okay, here is a page. Uh, it is a website uh, of uh, Wikimedia Commons. So uh, for example, I know that like uh, the Virgin uh, Mary is a very, uh, important uh, idol in art because like a lot of painters would love to draw the picture of Virgin Mary. So you can see like if you uh, just type in like the keywords Virgin Mary, you can get all the picture like of her like uh, by different painters in uh, a different times like this is what well organized, right? Different paintings about like Virgin Marys and actually um, under the uh, Creative Commons, like you can um, get the access of these pictures. Uh, you can use it for pictures from Wikipedia. So um, that's why I say like uh, Wikipedia, Wikidata, and also Wikimedia Commons would be the ideal platform for us to build up the database along uh, because like all the resources are well online and it's very easy for people to get the information and also contribute the information there at the same time. So I think uh, it, it would be an ideal platform. 
And actually, the Wiki community has been working on the GLAM project, which stands for uh, galleries, libraries, archives, and museum, which helps cultural institutions share their resources with the world through the collaborative projects with experienced Wiki advocates. So we call it a GLAM Wiki. So um, this, this is another case study about like how GLAM Wiki works. So um, the British Museum, which is a really famous one, um, has developed a multiple partnerships with Wikipedia and the UK Wikimedia chapter. So uh, there is a project like about a uh, few, uh, few three years ago, like uh, they have a project about uh, Wikipedia in residence uh, with Leo, uh and Australian Wikipedia editor. So during the five week residency, like William developed the relationship between Wikipedia and the British Museum through a range of efforts. So actually, uh, what we are trying to do is to build like different articles about the items in museum. Um, so like when people want to know the information about those items, they can just go on Wikipedia and search it. And you can see it's very easy for you to use it. Like, uh, for example, if you want to know information, you can just click on that and then you can just get the information. Uh, however, I mean, the resources related to the Asian arts on Wikipedia are not as many as the European arts at this moment. So if you really want to know about Asian arts uh, on Wikipedia, actually uh, those information, they are not as much uh, as they want in Europe. So uh, I, think there, uh, uh, I think there is a space that we can have the improvement. And also there might be some uh, limitations for us to develop a database like this in Asia. Uh, for example, the copyright law uh, would be a limitation for us. But it's necessary and important for us to build up one about Asian arts here in, uh, in Asia. So uh, that's the end of my presentation. Thank you. And I have a few and session. So if you want to ask some questions about building up the database, you can raise them. Thank <laughs> 时间发布有没有任何提问
have been Wikipedians in different institutions to have fun to uh, create and edit on Wikipedia, uh, on Wikipedia. That's how it works. Actually, what I what I really interested is um because uh, because um, Wikipedia is actually established uh, quite a huge database, and um I, I I'm really curious about um how would you in, in the future or in the in, in, in the near future uh or how do you, how do you encourage uh the sort of open open audience to um. Or open creator to to kind of um, adapt or uh, uh, making making the best use of, of, of the data that, that that has been out there and and sort of engage in their uh, uh, art project or like in their creation of of, of, of their artwork. So you mean um, streaming? I mean the, the the real project is it's not only um, you know accumulating more um, data in. Um, Wikipedia. Can you repeat the question? I'm sorry. Because um, when we were talking about artists in residency program, and um, especially uh, it's, it's associated with database, uh, what, what I'm really curious and be very interested about is um, you know, how the individual um, residential artist is working with the database. Um, if, if they are only, you know, um, as, as any other um, uh, user uh, from the website uh, to, to to approach the data that 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 has been out there, um, but that's that's everybody. That's not um, you know someone special engaged with specific project that's initiated by Wikipedia. So I'm I'm quite curious about what the program and how we organize it. And what would be your expectation? Okay. Yeah. So like uh, what we are trying to do here, like for the Glam Wiki like project here, like uh, actually of course we need the help from museums, like they have the collections. But if you're talking about individual, of course we welcome them to contribute to Wikipedia as well. That's uh, what I'm talking about why Wikipedia would be an ideal platform because like everyone can edit on it. You don't have to just listen to like uh, the opinion or like the statement from the museum, but also like um, the audience, like the public will help us to get to get a neutral idea about the artworks. It would uh, it would be like uh, more like that's why I said this I uh, this would be an ideal platform. So of course we welcome to, uh, welcome to uh, welcome the individuals to participate in the program as well. But it would take uh, it would take us a lot of time to approach those audience, I uh, mean uh, those individuals. And I think uh, I think it's also important about uh, like art. It's not just about museum, but like you can see art from the individuals as well. So like uh, I know like it would be very difficult, but. What uh, we see in like they are doing, like they will organize different activities to invite the artists, like the individuals, to participate. So like to get the information, like to get the idea how they can contribute together. That's what we are trying to do at this moment.呃，刚刚这个Leo 呃，长期在维基有认识跟维基社群有一定互信的人来处理的。那另外也是一个呃，在澳洲分会就已经长期在参与的一个维基人，就是他知道怎么样跟维基的这个编辑方针做互动，那他可以把很多其实过去在呃
这个，比方说大英博物馆，可能呃，可能是五五年、十年才展出一次的展品，它可以直接写成维基百科的条目，然后上面有照片，上面有所有的全市资料都放在那里面。那像刚刚呃 v i n u s 这边提供的就是他每他一年一年下来，呃，有在整理的一些其实很独特的一些馆藏。那这些资料除了放在英文维基百科上面以外，就是呃，他也有做一些计划，能够让这些资料透过维基百科的职工翻译到其他的语言上面。这、就是他另外做一件事情，那同时他也在呃，另外也在大英博物馆也做了很多，就是现场的工作坊，告诉更多的呃参与呃，比方说可能是馆馆馆方的工作人员怎么样与维基百科互动，怎么样把呃馆藏里面很重要的资料放在这样的平台上面，那他也可以呃办一些工作坊，让参加哦或者是来参访维呃这个博物馆的呃民众可以了解怎么样透过维基百。来查询，呃，这个，呃，这个博物馆里面的资料。以上补充。好，呃，谢谢上官的补充。然后我们馆长这边是有。Yeah, as museum workers located in Taiwan, we like to see this kind of、uh, art database in Asia take place as soon as possible. But I have two questions. First question is, we all can see the benefit of joining this kind of the art、uh, database, but what obligations museum? Could have, for example, sharing the the expenditure,、uh, sharing the finance, and any other applications. And second, uh, uh, Asia is a huge, very diverse place. Could we start from like East Asia or South Eastern Asia? Uh, Thank you. Start with the solution.、Uh, first, like you are talking about the finance, like、uh, the issues about like the financial issues about having database. Of course, like we need the money, we need the funding to do something like this. But at this moment, I do know like some countries they have their own database about arts already, like in、uh, Taiwan and also like in Hong Kong they have、uh, the、um, Asian Arts Archive. So like I think the funding at this moment would not be the biggest issue we are facing. But in the future, of course, we need the funding. I do know like、uh, for Europeana is supported by the European Union, but I think in Asia、uh, we can ask for the government、uh, for the funding like in the future because like it's about the culture of the country and it's very important for us to like preserve cul、uh, preserve culture in the country. And second question is about like starting like in a small place, right? Uh, I think it it will be an、uh, it will be、uh, an ideal like idea like to have、uh, to have the database like at the very beginning just started、uh, just start、uh, just start、uh, in the、uh, in just one country but I mean like in the future I think、uh, having an Asian、uh, I mean having the art、uh, having the Asian arts database like would be like the ultimate like、uh, idea or like the、uh, the goal for us like. But of course, I can start with a small place at first. Yeah. Uh, we. In the final, the last question is about the Chinese government. Ah. Okay. 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 基本上我们目前已经开放的目录啊，被那边的大概有四十万笔。那换你这边，你的想法呢？就在 art 这一块，我们比较有比较多多一点的电商的文物在上面。那另外一个想法是说，未来我们是不是可以说我们在素材上面提供 API 给你们？那你们在你们在 w i k i 的所写的提供一个 API 给我们文化部。那我们可以互互相分享一下，也可以帮我们做一些行销推广。我想这个想法是，不好意思，我中文不太好。这个想法就是一个让让双方能够双赢啊，就我们开我们的素材啊，你们帮我们在 meta data 或者在这个部分可以让民众有更多一点的想法进来。那我想在我们的系统上面，我们就也欢迎其他。哦，有这个想法也可以跟跟我们来合作，哦，我想，我想提供一个这样的一个想法给你，谢谢。谢谢。